In today's video, I am bringing you guys someone fine, sexy, earthy, college campus librarian with this perfect bang. Like, really, no joke, I can totally picture myself stocking somebody's shelves with this wig. For this look, I partnered up with Eva Wigs once again to bring you guys something else I have never tried before. Um, this is actually a fake scalp wig. Eva Wigs actually sent me two wigs to test out, um, but of course, y'all say I only slayed one. One of the wigs are the updated version of the fake scalp, and the second is the original version, and we're gonna compare the two. All right, okay, all right, okay. The wig that I'm wearing is Eva Wig's original fake scalp wig. In this wig, the scalp portion is very stretchy. The material is stretchy, um, but the fabric is more so of a um, stocking cap material and texture-wise. The color of this fabric wasn't really giving me scalpiana per se. The color of the fabric was just a little bit too muted for me. And this is how it looks up against my skin. Now, all jokes aside, the parting space does look good, but the color is the only thing that's throwing me off. Now, as far as the updated fake scalp wig, you can tell the difference as soon as you look at it. And that is going to be the color of the lace, the inside of the cap, and of course, the material of the cap. This is more so of like an actual lace material. It's still stretchy. Um, but it is more so of a lace material as of the lace front. Um, and as you can see, the inside of the cap is actually more of a fleshy color and does disguise a little bit better. The knots are bleached. And of no, course, I never get up here and try to fake the funk with y'all. Listen, I had no idea what a fake scalp wig was actually for, like what its purpose was. I mean, I've heard of them, but I've never tried one for myself or knew what it was intended for. Um, a fake scalp wig is for people that do not like to wear stocking caps or like the stocking cap method where you have to tack down the stocking cap to your head cut this flip that ain't nobody got time for that so i'm assuming that if you guys are one of those people that does not like to use stocking caps then this fake scalp technology would be perfect for you honestly i have met a lot of people that are not in favor of stocking caps i use it more so for comfort to know that my hair is flat and that it's secure and that it's safe from, you know, the combs and the snagging of the lace. Um, but some people really are anti-stocking cap. Like, if you guys are against wearing stocking caps or if you guys prefer to not wear stocking caps, y'all let me know down below. Like, for real, for real. Are y'all hashtag team no stocking cap or hashtag stocking cap? Y'all yeah, let me know down below. Even though with these fake scalp wigs, you are having like a built-in stocking cap, um, no matter what, with either wig you buy, the original or the upgraded, you are gonna have to still use either a foundation, um, a powder, concealer, whatever it is that you use to help color your lace and your parting space. You're still gonna need that um, because either way it goes, the original is too gray and the updated is pretty neutral. It's pretty good, but if you are not a bright skin tone and your scalp is not that light bright, you're still gonna need to add some color to that. So the purpose of this scalp is not to eliminate you know you having to color it or make it look more natural it's just going to help you not have to use a stocking cap and to kind of aid in it looking you know a little bit more natural for you to still have to do something too if you know what i mean am i making sense i hope i am with both of these wigs come the detachable elastic bands so that you guys do not have to worry about your wig sliding off if you are trying to go glueless with your installs i love how companies now are trying to make wigs and installs so much easier for the everyday girl they've given us the pre-plug they've given us the pre-bleach they've given us the small knots the detachable elastic band now they've given us a stocking cap built into the wig even though this is kind of like a sidebar and it's just letting you guys no, I did use a stocking cap under this wig, even though this does have a built-in stocking cap, only because, um, as y'all know, if y'all are OG subscribers, that I do not braid my hair underneath my wigs. I do have chunky twists under here, so I have to keep my hair flat as possible. So with that being said, I'm not very sure how this would work if you guys have very, very thick and long hair under your wigs. You may still have to use a stocking cap underneath. I'm not very sure, but I just know that I did. Um, the other only hang-up that I have with the fake scalp technology is the fact that um, the color, the fact of the color. I wish that they gave an option of you guys to choose what color scalp you would like, just as you are able to choose what color lace you'd want. That's the only recommendation that I would like to give. But other than that, I do think that it is a cool idea. So yeah, and all this bang definitely did do it for me. So if you guys are interested in this wig, I will leave all links down below. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video.